Good day. In this video, we are looking at question 1A of the 2022 NCA Chance and Data Level 1 paper. Without further ado, let's read the question. NIWA, the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research, has been collecting data on the weather since 1992. The November daily maximum and minimum temperature in Auckland was recorded in 2009 and 2019 are displayed below. So the dark line are the 2009 and the lighter line is 2019. So I'm going to move up a bit so we can read the question. Okay. So the question is, using the data provided, what was the date when the daily temperature recorded was the coolest? Looking at the dark line and the lighter line, okay, the lowest temperature are these two days. Okay, This is lower than this. So that is why the lowest daily temperature recorded was in the black line which is 2009 and it's found on the november 13 so that will give you an achieve in this question okay let's do question part two of question 1a question part two you have to interpret the graph too okay so we are going to read the question okay the question reads like that based on the 2019 data so we are looking at the lighter line was there a minimum temperature lower? What is the probability that there, is a, that there was a minimum temperature lower than 10 degrees on a randomly selected day in November? Okay, I'm going to move up again, okay? So you look at the graph, okay? The only day that below 10 degrees for the lighter line, 2019, the lighter line was only on this day. This day was the 20th, the 20th of November 2019. So the probability that it is less than 10 degrees on that particular day is only one out of the 30 days. So that will give you an achieve. The probability is one out of 30. Okay, now we shall look at the question 1A part three, and this is a merit question, and I'm going to read the question to you, okay? Compare the daily temperature in the 2020, 2009 and 2019. It means you're comparing the dark line and the lighter line, okay? Clearly ident identify any significant features in the graph, discuss any trend and unusual feature that you notice in the graph, and provide evidence from the graph to back up your statement, justify your answers using statistical reason, give at least three different supporting statements. Okay, this is important because if you only answer one point, you'll get achieved, two valid points will be married, and you get three or more, then it will be an excellent. So we shall look at the lighter graph and the dark graph what can you say okay point one the average temperature in 2019 varied more than 209 if you look at the graph the it varies more than the the darker line the darker line is more constant okay so it went upward from the start for we're looking at the lighter line it went up at the start until the 20th on the from 11 to the 20th from here to here okay they it, it remain and then it start to go up again okay so the temperature in the 2009, which is a darker line, is fairly constant at the upward trend. So that will give you one valid answer. Okay, part two. We're going to go up a bit, okay? Part two. The temperature in 2029 seems to be higher than 2009. So you can look at the graph. The, the points at the lighter line, the 2019, is higher than the point in the darker line. So there seems to be a global warming. So it tends to be higher than in 2009. The majority of the recorded temperature in 29 is above the 2009 temperature. Only two days, okay? The one here and here, only two days out of the 30 days where the darker line is higher than the lighter line. So that will give you another valid point. If you can answer the two of them, you get a merit. And last but not least, okay, we're going to answer the third one. The daily temperature fluctuation means the highest minus the lowest in 2019 seem to be larger than in 2009. In 2009, the daily temperature fluctuation is there is less than 10 degrees and only on one day. The only day that is a fluctuate more than 10 degrees is I reckon is on the 12th of November from here. Okay, to here, okay, it fluctuates more than 10 degrees, okay. Other than that, it's all less than 10 degrees. While for 2019, the lighter line, it fluctuates in more than one day. This point here, the one of the crosses are more than 10 degrees. So that is how you answer the question. So if you can answer three valid points, you get an excellent. Two, you get a merit, and one, give you a achieve. So 
make sure you write as much as you can, argue your case, justify the graph, and you should do well in this paper. So I see you in the next video where we go to question 1B. Cheers everyone and have a good day.